Yeah. All right, what's going on, people? No? Yeah. <laughs> Shit. Uh, yeah, I am from the Bay Area, man, and living in L.A., I get asked the same question all the time. They be like, because everybody assumes Bay Area, San Francisco, that's what they think. That's the city y'all know. Then they always be like, so, uh, is it really gay there? <laughs> And I'm like, no, San Francisco's not actually that gay. Like, uh, the reason why everybody thinks San Francisco's so gay, it's not the trannies, it's not the gay people, it's not the parade, it's none of that, because they all stay in the Castro, all right? The reason why San Francisco appears to be so gay is because of the hills. I'm serious, anybody in here walked up a steep hill before? All right? So you know that it's impossible to do that task in a masculine way. It's impossible. Think about it. When you're walking up a hill, you're like, you just one block. We ain't gonna take no taxi. I can do this. I'm in shape and sound. You just came out. Let's go. And you're walking. And as you're walking, and your back tightens up, and your legs start getting tired, all of a sudden your butt sticks out on its own for no reason. And you start walking up that hill like, oh, oh, oh. and that right there looks like maybe, just maybe. And like, even your hill tired is different from normal tired. Right? Like, if I get tired, my hands go on my knees. That's not universal. I can't breathe. But on that hill, it gets really gay. You're walking, you'd be like, ah, 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 ah. Oh, it's really steep up here, isn't it? Like, you want to keep going? Like, I don't know why my hips are doing this on its own when I'm tired, but you just start doing that, right? Then you're taking that real gay, deep breath, you know, you're like, whoo! And like, that, that breath alone looks like I've taken at least two or three dicks to the face. Like, it's just... It's just what it does, man. It's just... <laughs> but I love being a comic, man. I love traveling and everything like that. Like, I... And I love not working during the day. I was at home... I do. I love it, guys. And I was at home the other day during the day. And uh, The thing I like about it is the kids that come by my house trying to sell me things like so they can go on camping trips or whatnot. I love those kids because they're so in to their scripts that they don't really care about what I have to say back to them or even I'm listening or anything. They just want to read what they memorized and get the hell on. Like, that's it. Like, his greeting, the way this kid greeted me, let me know he had just memorized a script and didn't care about anything else. Because he knocks on my door, I was like, hey, little man. He was like, hello, sir and madam. <laughs> Lovely day, isn't it? I was like, it is 99 degrees outside. Like, you're about to pass out. He was like, um, I was wondering if perhaps you could donate some money so that me and my classmates could go to Great America for the day. Wait, before you say no. <laughs> And I was like, I didn't say anything. What are you talking about? He had ready to go. He was like, uh, let me give you some options. What we have is $20 worth of candy that you can get for just $10. Does that sound like a deal? Wait, before you say no. If that doesn't sound good, then we have 10 pieces of candy for only $5. Does that sound like a better deal? Wait, before you say no. Okay, bye. And he just walked away. I was like, wait. And it just let me know that, wow, a script can get you through anything, because he obviously was terrified, right? And like me, personally, I wish we had scripts for like, things for in our adult life, because I'm not good at talking to girls, guys. I'm not, I get vagina on accident. I'd be like, oh, this happens. Like, that's how it happens to me, you know? But if I had a script, maybe I could approach girls. Like, maybe I'd be all right at getting a chick, you know? Like, I see her in a bar, I walk up to her, I'm like, hello, sir, I'm madam. <laughs> Lovely day, isn't it? Um, I saw you from across the bar, and I was wondering perhaps maybe I could buy you a drink. Wait, before you say no. <laughs> Let me give you some options first. I would love to just leave this club and have sex with you right here, right now. Does that sound like a deal? Wait, before you say no. <laughs> If that doesn't sound good, then just please let me have your phone number so I look like a total idiot in front of my friends. If that sound like a deal of weight before you say no. Are you a lesbian? Okay, let me give you some options. Um, I am man enough to handle you and your girlfriend at the same time. Please believe me. Wait before you say no. I just got a brand new video camera that I would love to break in, and I would just watch you two have sex while I masturbate in the corner. Does that sound like a deal of weight before you say no? Oh, is this your boyfriend? Okay, one second, please. Uh, handling boyfriends, handling boy... Got it. Okay. Hello, sir or madam. <laughs> Lovely day, isn't it? I meant no disrespect. I did not know that she was here with you. But before you punch me in the face, could we please talk about this like two grown adults? Wait, before you say no. <laughs> 
Isn't there enough black on black crime going on in today's society? Wait, before you say no. Well, what would Jesus do in this situation? Have you accepted him in your heart today? And I'm like, which book did I bring? Like, what is going on with this? Like, it's crazy. <laughs> I think about weird things, people. Like, the other thing I like about, like I said, I'm home during the day. I watch a lot of TV. And I was watching uh, 300 the other day, right? And I got a problem with these movies like 300 or more of these Greek mythology movies because I have a problem with the fight scenes. I don't think they're realistic. Because in these fight scenes, you have like hundreds, sometimes thousands of guys fighting, right? In a field somewhere. Shields, swords, everything. And all of a sudden, in the middle of this big brawl, it has split right down the middle. And then the two leaders from each side can see each other. And then they yell out each other's call signs. They're like, Prometheus, ruler of the north, son of Titus, finally we mate. And all of a sudden they start running towards each other in slow motion as the slow Catholic music plays. Right? And while they're running down this path, no one ever hits them in the side of the head. There's never like a sword to the side, nothing, man. They just keep going, you know? And I'm like, that's ridiculous because that would never happen in real life. I would never be in a bar or a club and a big fight breaks out and it splits down the middle and I'm like, Tyronius! Ruler of them niggas around the corner. <laughs> Son of... You don't know your father, do you? <laughs> Finally we meet and we start running like... <laughs> like, hey man, uh, is this your first group fight? Uh, wait, before you say no. Hey, uh, my name is Kiara Poli. Thank you very much. Appreciate it.